Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookcraft, the world where my friends and I build things from my favorite books and my own imagination. Let's get back into the story. So in the last episode, we revealed that the new book is Misty of Chincoteague by Marguerite Henry. Hello, Willow. What do you think about that? Where's Dog Ear? I must have left him over at the ship. So uh, we built the ship, or rather Nathan built the ship. Is he even on? Oh, Jess Panda and Nathan one day are on. Uh, by the way, don't forget, keep sending me your horse-inspired Minecraft banners for the Hall of Reading here. Uh, whoops, I almost forgot. I have not done the word of the episode yet. Let me come and sit in my chair and do that right now. Today's word of the episode is going to be brackish. And that actually means slightly salty. So, for example, in the book, Misty of Chincoteague, the waters surrounding the island of Assateague uh, are described as brackish, which means that they were slightly salty. Uh, but you know what's not slightly salty? Olives under the stairs stew. Can I have some stew olive, please? Thank you. Miss reads a lot. No time to chat today. I've got horses to breed. I'll be seeing you later. Uh, all right, so I've already started. As you can see, I have... Wait, do I have my... Nope, I need... I need some more gold, and I probably need some more carrots as well. I am working on... I'm just going to bring all of this, actually. I don't think I need all of it. Uh, I am working on uh, breeding the 18 horses in the bottom of the boat uh, because uh, when the ship sank... Uh, that is how there came to be wild ponies. If you didn't know, this is actually based on a real-life place. Uh, Assateague Island is in Maryland. Uh, Chincoteague Island is in Virginia. They are like very narrow strips of land uh, in, in Maryland and uh, Virginia, which I've been to, actually. And there are actually wild ponies on the beach. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this is how they got there, but in the book, how they got there, the lore is that uh, a Spanish ship was bringing the ponies to Peru and it crashed and some of the ponies made it to shore and that is how there came to be wild ponies uh, there. Uh, but for our purposes, I am just breeding the horses in the ship and that's just where they're going to stay. There will always be 18 horses in this ship uh, out here because in Bookcraft, we kind of build things like we build scenes from the book. So like just because in the in the second chapter they had crashed doesn't mean that I'm going to transport all of the horses uh, to the island and kill three of them uh, because three of them died. Or I think actually, I think four of them died because the 15 was including the stallion and the 18 number was not including the stallion. Hello, horsey. I don't believe I have. I've got three horses over there now and I don't think I have your color. So come with me uh, because I'm trying to get like an eclectic mix of horses on the ship. So let's go. Let's go. Uh, we had had a hole in the ship, but I'm pretty sure that we filled it back up. So uh, I'll have to have uh, Nathan or Jasper make another one. Ooh, the sun is setting. Hurry, horsey. Come on. Come on. I do have to tame them, though. That's kind of the, the sad thing because they're supposed to be wild ponies. Uh, but, you know. You have to tame them in order to breed them. All right, let's go. Nathan, hi. Hello. Where's the hole for the ponies? Where do we go? Um, here, let me open. Hi, Jasper. The so, oh yeah, open. Oh yeah, perfect. Um, I guess. Come on in. There, there we go. go. I don't know. I don't know if the horses can do that. But come here, come here, guy. Come on. They can. Come on. No! Oh, no! 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 Live! 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 Yeah, oh, oh, he's in, he was in, he was in, he was in. Oh, Jasper's a golden apple at the ready. Come on, horsey. Come on, you got this. <gasps> Look at that. Hello, horsey. Oh, you kind of matched that one over there. Where should we put this guy, guys? Mm. Has our other pony grown up? <gasps> You're an adult horse now. Okay, I want to breed this one with... Mm. 
Hmm. I kind of, hmm. We have a lot of spotted horses right now. I think I want to breed this one with the solid horse, uh, which means that I need to tame you, horsey. So come on here. Let's get tamed. <gasps> Whoa! That happened fast. Had I already maybe tamed this horse, possibly? Like, tried to, maybe? Where are we going? So. He just, like, put himself in here. What is happening right now? What is, go what is going on? <laughs> we we're spinning. Yeah. Oh, goodness. All right, come on, horse. Uh, get down somewhere. Do you want a saddle so you can control him? Uh, no. I, um, well, maybe. Here, let me just give him a golden carrot. Um, come here, horsey. I want to tame him with, or tame him. I want to breed him with you. Although, I don't know if he'll be able to... I gotta get them close together. Here you go, and here you go, and then- No, no, no! 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 Have the love hearts over here! Have the love hearts- <laughs> Push the black horse towards the gate! Um, come over here, come over here. Here you go. Nope, nope. Push, 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 push. <gasps> it happened! It happened! Oh, we got another black horse with socks. That's okay, though. Uh, you, my little horsey companion, can come over this way. I've got a nice pen for you uh, right here. And since he's a pony, can't he fit through the, the one gate? He might be able to, actually. Let's see if he can. Come on. A little sidestep. A uh, little... There you go. Oh! oh. <laughs> look at the baby. That's sweet. And when you grow up, I'll breed you with this horse. Uh, okay, Nathan, so we need 18, though. How many yeah. stalls do we have here? <gasps> Ooh, I'm gonna count them, okay? Ready? Okay, okay. Alright, I need to eat this soup, though. Oop, that gave me an idea. Okay, can I count them? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, wait, ten, Wait, 10, <laughs> 11, 12, Nathan? Yes? Wait a minute. We've got 13, 14, 15. We need 18. Yeah. How are we going to fit 18 down here? Nathan, you have to rebuild the boat. That's a what? shame. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It was nice working with you, Stace. <laughs> okay, no, we can make it work. We can make it work. We can at least fit maybe <gasps> we could fit one more here, right? It's supposed to be it's supposed to be like close quarters. We could put one uh, like right right here. What do you think? Yeah. No, that should be a gate. Yeah, no. No. This is I'm <sighs> Nathan, that was a fence, not a gate. It needs to be a gate. Well I'm sorry you, you know, you could actually say that was rather offensive. No, Nathan, your pun was offensive. All right, Nathan. Uh, okay, so today, actually, uh, I have four golden carrots left. Can I breed? I probably can't. I don't think I've tamed any of the other. I don't think I've tamed. Have I tamed? Have I tamed you? I have tamed you, but I don't think you have love hearts yet. I don't think I can give you a golden carrot just yet. Nope, he doesn't want a golden carrot. Um, hmm. I can't tame any of these other horses. Actually, if I give this guy golden carrots, won't he grow up? Is that a thing? I think so. <gasps> it's a thing! It's a thing! <laughs> oh, I I took his childhood from him. His, his ponyhood. <laughs> All right, here's a golden carrot. Oh, wait, no, you're not tamed. That's right. I just, oh, I gave him... Ugh. I gotta go to the crafting table now. I don't have enough golden carrots. Let me out! Let me out! Okay, there we go. Up to the crafting table, and then I need to make... Ha By the way, has anyone seen Dog Ear yet? Uh, no. I don't know where he is. Oh, I need more gold. <gasps> Wait, I just oh, heard I him! He's around where here somewhere. He? Alright, let's grab you. Oh, I found him, Stacy. Oh, I only made one. Where is he? He's not on the poop deck, which is where I thought he would be. AC? Yeah. Come back into the office. <gasps> oh! 
Oh, dog ear. That was adorable. <laughs> Hiding under my desk. Or is that your desk, Nathan? I can't remember. It, Who's it, the it captain of the desk, ship? Casey. Thank you. I hope it's my desk. All right. I've got to tame this horse. Oh, hey. He, did he buck me off already? Let me on. What's happening right now? He doesn't like you. He's bucking me off instantly. Wow. <gasps> Do you know why? Why? This is a weird Minecraft glitch. He looks like an adult, but he's technically still a pony. Oh. How rude. All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and work, I guess, on the other thing that we want to do today, which is to finish, put the grand finishing touch on the ship, which was the wooden horse that was carved into the side of the ship. Now, we've put our heads together and we've come up with the perfect solution. I had the idea. Nathan made the texture. Just Panda is going to execute the command and we are going to get a wooden horse on the ship in Minecraft. So what the mm -hmm. idea was was to take a, a regular horse, texture him, the texture of these wooden planks of the boat, then have Jas spawn him in completely motionless like the carousel over at the fair. Uh, and then we will have achieved the wooden horse carving on the ship. So, but you might say, well then, Stacy, won't you just be going through your world and occasionally find like a wood colored horse? But no. We are going to summon in a special horse, a zombie horse, uh, that Nathan has changed the texture of. So, when you guys are ready, I'm going to jump down in the water for, like, a better uh, better view. Woo! <laughs> All right. Whenever you guys are ready, let's summon him in, uh, and then we can kind of tweak his position. Although, I think you have the right idea, Jess. I think we want him to be, like, right up there somewhere. Yeah. Right here? Yep. Explain, uh, what exactly are you doing, Jasper? He's got a block of redstone. He's, uh, he's placing the block of redstone okay. next to the command. I'll let you explain it. I'm gonna teleport him down. <gasps> he's there! Oh, he looks very dark. Yeah, mm. uh, I'll fix that. I do believe he's having a lighting glitch, Stacy. Oh, awkward. I'll just uh, turn away for now. Yeah. Uh, give him some privacy. Yeah. Yeah. Are we ready? There we go. All right. Oh. That's a zombie horse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have the texture pack enabled. Uh, be right back. Stacey. I'm going to die. I enabled the texture pack, but I was underwater. No. Oh, no. Live, Stacy. Live. Live. <laughs> Woo! I made it. <gasps> Look at that. He's a wooden horse now. Aww. Oh, that looks perfect. Oh, his mouth just opened. I thought he was supposed to be inanimate. Oh, it's it's on a hinge, okay? Uh, like it blew in the wind. Okay. I think I just saw his tail wag, but fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he looks perfect. He really blends right in, except for his front, front hooves that kind of just like stay there. <laughs> Not really sure about that. Oh, okay. Oh. That's a thing. So he's a little bit alive. Um, so maybe we'll just come and like give him a golden carrot every once in a while. So he doesn't, uh, you know, I don't know. So the bookcraft animal police doesn't come after me. Yeah. But yeah, he really blends in. And mm -hmm. now the ship is, is totally finished. I love it. I do too. All right. So uh, in the next episode... We've got to kind of get going a little bit on the uh, the shipwreck, right, Nathan? We're going to completely blow up your ship. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I used that joke last time, uh, mm -hmm. but I still think it was funny. I'm not going <laughs> to blow up this ship. I think this ship is amazing. Um, but we are going to start coming over to this island, and this island over here is going to be our... Assateague Island. Uh, well, possibly like our Assateague and Chincoteague Islands are going to be right over here, guys. This is super exciting. Actually, oh, nice. we need to start working on the, the Misty of Chincoteague train line uh, that'll do. come out to here. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode of Bookcraft. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go read a book.